The Counts for Children's Rights is really working for children today and tomorrow, working with individual children today who are in crisis, providing high quality legal representation and direct advocacy for kids who are in the middle of some kind of difficult situation, but also looking down the road to the policies, the public expenditures of funds, and the systems that really impact children and trying to change those for the positive. Charlotte is so incredibly lucky to have the Council for Children's Rights. We've done, and I've gone on some of those visits, done research all over the country about who's really doing the right work for kids today and for kids tomorrow. And the Council for Children's Rights is unique in the way it's doing what it's doing and in how successful it is now and what we know is the success of their future. The Council represents the interest of children. Uh, and I think in a kind of a general way, we're here to help children be good neighbors, responsible citizens, and productive workers. And we do that by representing children who are abused and neglected, children who are dependent, delinquent, children with mental health conditions and developmental delays. We help them in a number of forums, wherever they are, essentially but certainly in court, in delinquency hearings, at school, at suspension hearings, to help them get special education related supports and services, mental health services, wraparound services that t touch and concern every domain in their lives. So we just care about kids and we're there for kids and we work to advance the interests of kids. At any time when a child's life is about to be impacted by the legal system, the council steps in and fills a void. And, and helps to make sure that that child's interests are represented. There was a little boy that I started working with when he was really young. He was about eight or nine years old, and he kept getting into fights at school. And later, I was able to get his records and really read through them, and I found out that this little boy had been through so much trauma. He'd been molested at a very young age. Um, his mom had had these guys coming in and out of the house, and he felt totally betrayed by his mother, and he was just, angry. So when we went in and we finally started asking questions about why, why is he acting this way, um, we were finally able to get him into a foster home with one male. They were able to tap into some interests that he had in art and um, he had been involved in some gang activity. He was really looking for a place to belong and he immediately moved out of that and really just prospered. He grew and developed and ended up going to an art school. He got a, a scholarship and it was a real success story. This work is important to me personally because they were there for us uh, personally in a time of need. Knowing your rights, you know, and, and going after them is really important. If we don't um, demand that our rights be upheld, you know, they may go away. Council for Children's Rights just seem to be there for a very devastating time in our family's lives. And um, I just hope they can be there for other kids. After excellent strategic planning and a lot of soul searching, the Council for Children's Rights unveiled the Larry King Center. And when they did, it was a game changer. Finally, our community has an opportunity to move beyond picking up the pieces of lost dreams for children to planning a future where the dreams of all children come true. That's a tall order for the council, but a mandate for our community. Well, one of the most alarming things to me about children's issues, as I've learned about them over the years, is our lack of forward thinking as a community around how to take care of our kids today for their futures. With the development of the Larry King Center, the council again is gonna be in a position, having served as, as that advocate in those scenarios, to look at the larger pictures and work on the policy implications. And I think that's gonna be an important voice um, that needs to be contributed to the conversation on these issues. You know, we have plans in this community for lots of things. Um, cultural facilities and sports and entertainment facilities and, and different activities in our community, streets and roads. We need the same kind of infrastructure for children. We can't just let it happen. Somebody has to be at the helm, really pushing plans that make sense, making sure that kids have 
best practice, evidence-based services to support them, making sure that families have the support they need to be able to raise safe and healthy kids, and making sure that we have a system of education, of child protection, um, of mental health, that really provides the kids the support they need to really move us forward as a community and as a society. It's imperative that we look at it strategically. I think the value that the Larry King Center will bring to Charlotte is that it'll bring a coordinating influence to the myriad children's services that are out there. There, there are a lot of well-intended, well-meaning services that are currently available, but I believe that uh, with the Larry King Center, they'll be able to add some research, some expertise, and some focus so that we're using the dollars we have for children's services more wisely. What's going on now is that we are moving into a related area of systems advocacy where we will be working on uh, gathering data, on uh, trying to shape legislation, on trying to uh, unite other uh, folks who are working on children's needs uh, so that we can as the saying goes, go upstream and help uh, prevent some problems from happening so that we don't have as many problems floating downstream, uh, which currently are pretty much overwhelming us. I think for those of us in the community working directly in the world of health and human services, it's very reassuring to know that the Council for Children Right is here, that you can pick up the phone, call them, ask them a question, ask them to look at a situation, refer something over here. So they are, they are the resource in this community for protecting our children, keeping them safe, making certain that they are treated justly and fairly and like they should be. I really see a day when everything we do as a community is prefaced by the question, is this the best thing for kids? The Council for Children's Rights. Working for children today and tomorrow.